Hey guys, welcome back. Dream Reaver 23 here with part four of our tutorial for the game Nomoria, which is available on Steam, and I believe it is $7.99. It's a great little game on there. Uh, I have a tutorial series for my game Towns, and uh, this game was actually donated to the stream where I do li live streams on twitch.tv slash dreamweaver23 by Plushy, one of our uh, regular viewers on there. And uh, she was like, hey, have you played Nomoria? I'd like to see you check out that game and see what you think about it. So. Uh, but it is a really cool game. It's different. It's similar, but different to Towns. And if you guys haven't seen it before, definitely check it out. Like I said, available $7.99 on Steam, and you can get it on there. Um, on this episode, if you haven't watched any of the other tutorials, I have, this is part four. I have three other tutorials before this, and they kind of talk about where we're getting up to at this point. Uh, on this, uh, part four of this tutorial, we are going to be concentrating on our military strategy in this game, because if you can play on Peaceful, but that's just cheap, in my opinion. You gotta go through and you gotta make it to where it's difficult because you wanna have that challenge. And that's what we're all about on this channel, is challenges. And on this one, like I said, we're gonna be taking care of uh, military strategies and uh, just kinda getting along right in there into the whole nitty gritty of it. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, if we look downstairs, uh, we do have them. They are finishing, kind of cleaning up a lot of stuff. You can see that they have actually moved away because right now they're moving a lot of the wood from up top and getting it put over into these crates. And that's good. We want to make sure that this area is nice and clean so that we can get to work on building this stuff up. Uh, the crates are getting done quite a bit quicker because they don't have to go as far to get the wood and everything like that, which is a good deal for our builders. Makes it a little bit easier on them. Uh, we do want to go out here and you kind of see I have a, a little bit of an area already kind of set up to where I have my basic design of how I want this to be laid out in here. Uh, and that's good. We want to have that set up. So I have 9x9 farm, 9x9 grove, 9x9 farm, and a 7x9 pasture right here. Um, now for our military strategy, basically what we're going to do is a wall. We're not going to do a complete wall because you want to be able to have things like the merchants and your nomads and stuff like that be able to reach your post. So what we're going to do instead is we're actually going to be building a almost complete wall and we're going to have an entrance to it that will be guarded by our military. So let's go ahead and get started on there. We're going to go ahead to uh, our build, which is number three on our basic tab down here at the bottom. And we're going to go to terrain, go to wall and stone wall. Now, right now, because we only have salt raw sandstone, we can just put it on any raw sandstone. It doesn't really matter. And since we have this kind of layout that we've already got set up over here, we're going to add basically three spots to it. So we're going to go one, two, three. So I guess it's actually going to add two to the outside wall. Um, and we're going to go ahead and bring this out. Now you can't see there are shrubberies that we have in place. One, two, three. And this one we are going to keep clear. One, two, three. All right, so we have this layer developed out and you'll, you'll start to see them, they'll start bringing these stones along the way. Uh, we will need to go ahead back here and forage through our agriculture, go to forage and forage these uh, bits of shrubs that are in the way because we want to make sure that we can close off all these sections. Obviously, except for the one that, you know, we actually have opened up right here on purpose. Build wall, stone wall. All right, this is one of the ones that popped up. A monitor loser has been spotted. He's going to pretty much take off, so that's another warning for us to hey. Get your wall in order, essentially. Now, another thing that we're going to do on here 
is we're going to actually extend this out a little bit. We keep going back over here to the stone wall so we can get this opened up. And basically what we're doing is we're making a little S shape in there. It's going to make it to where it's going to be more difficult for the enemies to get into the entrance area. That's why we built that little weird design up top. And later on we'll be able to build traps in there as well. Spike traps and stuff like that. But for right now, all we're really working on trying to do is uh, make sure that we can block stuff off really easily. <laughs> These guys continue to go down there and work and get all stuff taken care of. While they're doing that, you'll see that our builders are actually going to be busy. So what we're going to do... Uh, this is one thing to keep in mind, is, is is always try to remember who you have into what population, but our builders are the only people that can set those up. We only have two builders right now, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of keep our farmers as our farmers. We're going to take our miners, which we aren't using the mine right now, and we're going to make them builders. Our rancher we're going to keep. Our woodcutters, we're going to make them builders. Because our rancher is taking care of the axe. We want him to make sure he's good. Our farmers, they will take care of food and the farming. We want to make sure we have food and drink. But if we're not using them actively, we're going to be making them builders. So that we can get this wall built faster. So you'll start to see more green spots popping up on the, on the, on the, on the wall. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a lot better than just two. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we're about 45 for our drink. We do want to have our distillery start making some wine. So we're gonna say, go in here to wine, craft wine. That's gonna be made out of any fruit. Now we're gonna take this wine right here and we're gonna click repeat. All right, so we'll have one of our farmers and they'll come down and they'll be like, oh, I need to make wine. I'm making wine, and they're tired too because they're moving slow, so they're going to fall asleep pretty quick, but they'll take that fruit, and they'll make wine. Yay! And up on the surface are... Um, <laughs> wall is going up a bit smoother and a bit faster, so that's good. They're going to continue to build that up pretty quick. And we want that to happen because typically it's anywhere between 10 and 12 days is what I've seen for each season. So you want to make sure that within, before the first, we have our wall built. Now because they weren't able to get that woodcutter over there to cut that wood, that tree down, and since we don't have a woodcutter assigned right now, that tree's going to stay there until we get a woodcutter back a sign and he'll go and chop down that tree and then we can have a builder just go over there and build that one piece of wall. It won't be terrible, uh, but that's something to keep in mind. So this is going to be our basic entrance coming into here. Our nomads will be able to get in pretty easily because they'll know, the, hey, there's something over there and they'll find the path to it. But enemies won't be able to see a, a gnome in front of them directly and so it'll be a little bit more difficult. They'll still be able to find their way in. It's not saying that it's, you know, they're not going to be able to get in, but it's going to be a bit more difficult for them to 
uh, get over there and attack, and it's going to take them a little bit longer. You'll be able to, you know, orchestrate an attack going to them, which is going to be kind of what we want to happen. As you can see over here, our drinks are filling up because we have our, uh, basically our winemaker. She's making wine right now. I'm getting that filled up pretty quick. And that's why you always want to keep your farmers pretty much farming. You need food. Uh, you will die quicker without drink than food. So something to keep in mind. So this gives us an area to where we can, you know, um, have some safety out here. And then also to where we can have, you know, still be able to get in and get entrance and stuff like that into our areas. Saving looks like it's going to be coming up on the 10th day of spring. Sun has risen. <clears throat> and we'll just keep an eye out for things. Honey Badger has been spotted. He's going to take off. The Honey Badgers typically won't attack unless you're right there on them whenever they're spotted. Or you send somebody out towards them to attack them. Then they will attack and they can do some damage. Uh, honey Badgers and Bears. Pretty formidable little enemies. Especially if you don't have really any gear on, on a, any of your um, Uh Your Gnomes. So she's doing good over there making some wine. Also here pretty soon we're going to be starting making our uh, stonemason and some torches so we can light up that area downstairs as well. But it's not top priority at this point in time. What are you, what are you doing? Builder berry one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and pause the uh, stream so you guys can't see what's going on, I guess, and, and just kind of save some time on this video because I want them to uh, get this wall kind of built up quicker and I want to make sure we can get some other stuff taken care of in this video. So I should be right back. All right, guys, we are coming back in because the wall is not finished. It's almost complete, but a honey badger has been spotted and he's attacking my guy who is just chilling right here. He just he literally just popped up right there. So I can see my uh, people are... Is he going to kill my guy? I hope he doesn't kill my guy. What are you guys doing? Y'all are just chilling there. Go help your friend. All right, so here's what we do is we take military, we make squads. New squad. <laughs> the clustered smoothnesses. Okay, sure. Formation, basic formation. These are going to be basic soldiers. And we're going to go through and pull everybody in here. And then we're going to go over here to the honey badger. We're going to say attack with all squads because that's all there is right now. And then they attack. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hey, a honey badger's got a lot of a, hit, a lot of hit points. I take it because they still haven't beat him yet. Honey Badger, just die! Honey Badger, dying of thirst. Die! 
Falco has bled to death from the stupid honey badger. Honey badger, are you dying yet? Sarah's bled to death. Population, no military formations, overview. Formations, basic formation, okay, basic soldier, basic soldier, basic soldier, defend gnomes. Retreat if bleeding. Back. So he's gonna go over here and pick up a bandage. Stop bleeding. Can't believe two people, two people dead. Badger has seriously injured his right eye, left eye, and mouth. The honey badger is blind. Yeah, you guys go heal. Can't believe that crap. Two people dead. Population. What was Seer? Alright, so. <laughs> another thing that comes with battle is death. And we need to designate a stockpile. We'll do it right here along the side. And this is going to be four body parts. Essentially what that will allow him to do is to uh, bring the bodies over there to the other side uh, right here. And, and, and it's like a grave, except it's not a grave. Stupid honey badger. Got blood all over the place now. Professions assigned. Okay, so we lost two people. So let's go to assign. Uh, this guy is a miner, so he was one of our miners. This guy was a miner, and the reason why I can see that is because if you look at the skills, it says, uh, actually no, he was not a miner. This guy, construction, mining was 36. Um, looks like I found one of our miners who was the one that died. This guy was a woodcutter. And you can tell that because as carpentry is wood carving, wood cutting is all high. Uh, this guy is masonry smelting, construction hauling. So he's a builder. This guy was a builder. Farmer. One of our farmers. So the other one of them was our farmers that died. So we do need to have two farmers. You are the miner. 
Woodcutter isn't super essential. This guy's not great, really. This guy's even worse. We need two farmers. We can have one builder, that's fine. We need two miners. And it's not going to be forever because we'll get some more eventually. We'll get some, uh, some more nomads here actually shortly. Uh, frustration. So see, that's that's kind of where it lies in that one spot where you're just like, really? 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 All right. They are going to uh, be chilling right there. We need to finish off this other section right here. We need to make sure, do need to make sure how many people we have in our squads. And basically your squads, unless they're training or actively fighting, they'll take their regular positions. But as soon as something comes available to where they need to fight or they need to train or they're on patrol, uh, that takes priority whenever you assign that. Other than that, they will do their regular job that they're assigned. And then, once you activate them as your military, then they'll, it's, then they'll be good to go. That <laughs> yak just went over there and ate some wheat. Alright, finally they're coming to cut down that tree. When they do that, we're going to go through and build... Wall. Stone wall. <clears throat> All right, population, we do need to have our miners as builders again so they can finish up this wall really quickly. We'll finish out this episode, but right now this is priority. We need to get these walls finished. Do I have, can I make stone door? I don't think that I can make that yet. I think I can make the uh, wooden door for right now, but I don't have the stone, the stone door I believe is made from the stone mason. <laughs> Alright, but we do have the wall finished. Alright, Woodcutter is coming along, and he's going to chop down those trees. So alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, we're coming down to that 25 minute mark, and I wanted to make sure that you guys kind of saw what we were doing with the strategy, and you got to see a battle too, which is, you know, something I didn't expect. But, stupid honey badger, he's just a mean one. So, uh, yep, yep, yep. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped and kind of shown you kind of what's going on. Especially if you're on the fence about getting the game, I hope these, these videos kind of show you what you can expect in the game and kind of just the, the strategy. And keep in mind, we're only seven levels down at this point in time. There's still a hundred more down there that we have to get through and lots of more challenges that come to face. So, until next time guys, I am DreamReaver23 reminding you to game happy and I will see you all later. Bye guys!